Oh. Hello. I hope you can see me. I've just been told I've got the line disconnected, but according to my computer, I'm still here. Excuse the sore throat. I'm trying to suck a sweet. It got a bit dried out over the weekend with the shows. So sorry about that. But I've took it to a sweetheart sweep. And those fizzy ones, I don't like it very much. It's horrible. Right, so tonight. Sorry, I have to start. I've been working with some of these beautiful stencils. Hi Deborah. Um, hi Erica. From this week essentially. I have got apologize, I just apologize. I'm stuck in this week because I've got a sore throat. Right. Beautiful stencils from this weekend. So I've got this beautiful flower key in the diamonds. I thought we'd use that again. And I've also got my feather, because I want some of this here, okay? <coughs> You're gonna have to excuse me. Yes, I have got new lights, pretty glaring me in the face here. But I haven't had a chance to play with them yet because of, obviously I was away this weekend. So we have got them, we just got to play with them, so we're getting there. Right then, today's project we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be sort of doing on the hoof as we go along. I part prepped it and I thought we'd do it together sort of live. So I hope you got a cup of coffee. So, oh, ever so sorry. <coughs> oh, the sweetheart sweets are horrible. Don't ever let me eat one again. That's all I should have told them beforehand. So what we're going to do first of all, is I'm going to work on a piece of canvas. Oh, I haven't told you what you're using yet, have I? Ugh, one of those days. I'll be working with, oops, she says, all my gorgeous starlight paints, but I will show you the colors when we go down. So working with the starlight paints. Hi, Celia. I'll be working with structure paste, artsy stones. I'll be using our cool uh, Magic Bond glue. And, 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 and. Oh, spraying, um, shaking gilt, waxes, and some sparkle medium. So we're gonna be playing with everything. Let's make it look pretty. Let's make it look pretty and sparkling. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the camera down and let's get started. Because you don't wanna hear me harping on. Okay, so I put the camera down. And I can't put my seals on because I can't remember where I put them. <laughs> I don't wanna come home and now I don't know where they are. As usual, I never know where my glasses are. So here we go, I'm going down. I'm hoping that you can, let me just swipe that, sorry. There we go. So I'm hoping we can see that. I'm just trying to get you up on the screen so I can make sure you can see it. But first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and a ruler and we're gonna measure mark this canvas because we're gonna cut it um, into, well, semi-cut it. We're not gonna cut it all the way through. We are going to cut it. I'm just nearly with you, I think, on here now. Oh, there we are. Let's just put the sound off. It is off, good. I don't like the sound of my voice, so things. Hold on. Mute. That's better. Right then, okay, so we've got my, this is A4 canvas. So you can do this in any size canvas. I've got a pencil and I've got my ruler. What we're gonna do is we're going to make little marks on our um, canvas. And the canvas here is it's roughly 30 and a half centimeters. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mark it roughly, leaving a little gap each end. I'm just gonna mark it at 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters top and bottom. It's just to give us a line to work to. So again, I'm just coming a little bit here. I'm hoping that's 10 and 20 without my glasses, who can tell? <laughs> Next thing you're gonna do is I'm taking my a craft knife. I got a standing knife or similar at all here. And we're just going to score through. So the tip when you're scoring through canvas is where the mark is, I'm going to make a little hole either end, just before we hit the edge. That way, you've got somewhere solid, your knife will sit in where you put your metal edge ruler to it, so I know that's against there. And then I can come down to this one and push it against there, and I know those two marks meet. So all you're gonna do, okay, is you're going to score down these. God, my husband just made bacon sandwich, I can smell bacon. God, dear, I'm on a diet, I can't eat it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna score it there. And you're going to go to your next one. So we're making a dint because it's just easier for you to line up metal edge against where the blade is. Line it up to the next one. And again, you're just going to score. We don't want to cut it through. We want to score through that top layers. Okay. But we don't want to cut it through. Because what we're actually going to do is this then will become... And I'm going to tilt the camera up a tiny bit so you can see and I'll put it back down again. It's becoming sort of a stand-up triptych okay so just something a little bit different to play with so what you're going to do then is you're going to um gesso this because we want to try and get some gesso into those those marks there okay 
So once we've gestured it, what we're going to do then, we're going to take our stencils and structure paste. So by hand, put that over to that side. I'm going to excuse all the mess in the background. I've just literally just unloaded the car from Peterborough and not done anything with it. <laughs> done anything yet. So here we have one here, and I've gessoed this ready, just to prep the surface, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take, oh, just got my paint, my gorgeous, here we go, flower key. Here we go. So we're going to take this gorgeous flower key here. But I only want to use the floral part, so I'm not going to be using the key. All right. She says the keys. Fences everywhere here. So I'm going to roll my sleeves up for this. There we go. <laughs> so got my palette knives here, ready to go. Give a quick wipe on the weekend. I'm not very good at clearing my stuff up. And I got my structure paste. Now, I think you all use this structure paste now. I use it for everything. Sorry if it's back to front, it's just the way the camera films it. This is fantastic paste. If you've not used a paste before, it's a great one to start with. If you haven't, if you have used paste before, but you haven't tried this yet, please give it a go. It's super smooth, it's brilliant white, and it has real marble dust in it, which means it's a quick drying paste. And you can, when you colour it, it's pure colour. It takes a pure colour, so there's no aging. Um, sometimes you have a yellowy look, this doesn't get it. And we can carve this and sand it whilst it's, um, once it's dry and it doesn't ping off and it's flexible. You can also use this in your moulds, so you can actually make your embellishments out of this. It does take a couple of days to dry, but it makes fantastic embellishments. And of course you can add all your paints to it as well. So, I'm going to take some stick and spray, just and spray lightly on the back of the stencil. Okay. It's all good to have in your crafting supplies, your stick and spray. Give that a couple of seconds just for the propellant to dry. Okay, and then all I'm going to do then is I'm going to start placing my stencil, I'll put it up on here so you can see, in different areas across my canvas. Alright, so I'm just trying to get the flower part, let me see, because we're going to create buds and all sorts on this. So, paste, always on the back of your, mi uh, back of your knife, okay? You want it nice and flat and it's easy to spread then. So, hold your canvas down, because mine's a bit bouncy where I've cut it, and we're just going to... Gently smooth that through our stencil. Okay, I'm not putting any pressure down. I don't want to squish it underneath. And I want a nice deep layer of paste. Okay. It's up to you how thick a layer you put on. You could put a thin layer on, let it dry, come back and put a second layer on. So you can build with this paste as well. It builds beautifully. All back in the pot that I don't use. And if I lift, move this and lift this up. And then I'm going to take away the extra. Okay. Anything left then, I just run my finger along there. Okay, so, excuse the light, there you go. Can you see that? And that, it's got beautiful depth on it as well. So then we're going to do is we're going to move our stencil around. So I'm going to move my canvas just slightly. And I'm going to use the same flower here, but I'm just going to use it on this side. I'm just trying to avoid the wet part here. Pop it down again. I'm going to use some of that paste that's already on my stencil to start me off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to put another layer, thin layer on top, because I said I want to get the depth on this. There we go. Okay, so let's pop that off. There we go. Oops. I purposely not put my black mat out today because the lights, because we haven't tested the lights, they're shining on the mat and you can see the lights, so we thought it wouldn't blind you. <laughs> So I'm just going to pop one then down on this corner. I'm just popping it down, taking the paste, and then we're going to go nice and smooth again over that stencil. Because we want that beautiful textured, raised texture. So undo the stencil, there we go. Okay, taking off the excess, putting it back in the pot. Remember, as long as it's dry, it goes back in your pot. Once it's drying, we don't want it anywhere near inside of your pot, okay? So, there's how we've started. I'm going to tilt that up for you, and leave that on there. Let's get it so you can see. There you go, okay? So we have got beautiful texture beginning on our background now, okay? I'm just gonna give this a very quick clean. Now when you clean your stencil, try and clean with the detail so that you don't bend your stencil design, okay? 
It hasn't to kill me. I'm working straight onto my table with no mat on it. <laughs> I didn't have time to get my tablecloths out. There we go. Then what you do then, you just wipe that clean or pop it into a bowl of water. Then what we're going to do is you're going to add some of the detail from your feather stencil. No, I'm not adding detail from my floral stencil. Sorry, but I'm just going to use a clean one. So I'm going to be using this part here. I'll do it on this side here because this bit I can get to at the moment. What you're going to do is just place some of this in and around the areas you want. Okay. There's no rhyme or reason to it. You just place it where you want and we just want texture. There you go, wherever you want it. So you're going to carry on around your canvas. I let it let the flowers dry first and then go into the other areas. Put some in the centre panel as well. I'm just doing this to show you. Okay. So you're starting, pop that there two seconds, to build some more. Well, there you go. Background detail here. And I put a bit here and I put a bit, a bit more in the centre there as well. Okay, and then we're going to let that dry. I'm going to pop that to the side to dry. Give that a quick wipe. I don't want that stuck onto my stencil. Okay, there we go. So I pop that to one side to dry. And we can use that another, on another project. There you go. Hey, she says. Right, here's one I dried earlier for you. Okay. Oh, I know I forgot to tell you. See, she's forgetting. Woohoo, before we let it dry, okay, we're going to add some artsy stones to it. That's what I want to do. We can do this while it's still wet. Okay, so I've got my Magic Bond glue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this. Although we've got the paste there still wet, I want to make sure, because I've you know, got all the detail, I want to make sure I've got enough going on there. So let me just pop my tub up. So I'm going to add all my glue wherever I want it. You can do this with structure paste as well. But I've only got tiny details on these intricate bits here, so that's why I'm using my glue. Okay, and then I'm going to use a mixture, okay, of the medium and the small. Okay, I can bend this so I can knock them off. So I'm using, oops, don't want that there, medium, and then I'm going to use the small. Okay, it will take much more care. I'll show you the finished one, but I just want to make sure you've seen it. Okay, so we're adding the centre of our flowers. You get a nice raised texture. It's really gorgeous when you, when you see it and when it's painted. So then I'm going to need to let that dry. Okay. Put that to one side out of the way. We'll do that later on. And here's the dry one. <laughs> we're back. We've got it. Here's the dry one. Okay. So if I lift this up for you, can you see, oh, there we go, the rays, the texture you've got there from your beads. And if I lift up like that, look at the texture you have there. All that texture on the one canvas from your structure paste and from your gorgeous artsy stones there. Really, really nice. And you can see the dried uh, diamond from the stencil as well. That's beautiful. I love, as you know, I love these uh, Sue's new stencils. I think are gorgeous. The way she's thought them out with all different designs in there. I love, a, I love a stencil that has lots on it. You can do lots with it. And that's exactly what these stencils give me. So, let me put the lids on my beads because my starchy stones, I'm always knocking them over. I'm really clumsy. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to start adding some detail. So, I'm going to take, I'll show you the paint colours we're using. I am using a whole combination tonight. So, I'm using the salmon, the passion flower, I'm using the, the Zinnaberg gold, I'm using a whole range, I'm using topaz rich gold and I'm using sand as well okay I told you I was using everything I, everything I get my hands on basically at the moment <laughs> I just love these colors and they're great for adding shade and I shake some paint into my lid okay because I'm only going to use it for painting so I don't want too much paint out so I will shake it into my lid you don't need to shake these paint I'm not doing it to mix it I'm just put, doing it to put some paint into the lids if I need more, I can just go and get some more. Okay, there we go. So I have, can you see there, I have my 
paint palette in the lids there. Okay, she says, you can snap around. So first of all, we want to get a bit of colour on the background because I have decided to work with the colours from one of our gorgeous um, papers with um, Paris and um, butterflies and things, all in the orange tones. I'm hoping you can see the orange tones. There they go. Okay, so I thought I'd do the, blend those in. So what we're going to use is I'm going to use the passion flower. Okay, so I'm using this colour. All right. So I'm just going to use a, just one of my normal stencil brushes. I'm going to use some water. Okay, so I'm going to spritz lightly with water on here before I start. But I will also have some water on my desk there, or a pot, just I tend, just the way I do it. So I just got a damp brush, some of the paint, and then we're just going to do a colour wash, sort of all over. You don't have to worry about going over the flowers because we're going to paint over those anyway. Okay, so we're just going to give it a colour wash and that's why I like the water because I don't want to add a lot of colour because my main design on here with the flowers that is where we're going to pick up a colour but we don't want just a plain white background so I'm just adding the colour like that so we're just doing a wash basically I'm just going to turn it okay so we're just doing a wash of colour using our starlights and water because the more water you add to your starlights Okay, the more translucent they become. So I don't think it just comes out that colour. You can make them into watercolours. Okay, so it's up to you how you control the colour. That's why these are great for you making your own spritzers. Pop a little bit of paint into a spritzer and then mix it up and away you go. You've got every colour in your range then becomes a spritzer for your backgrounds. Okay, so we're just going to finish the colour wash. There we go. So we've got a lovely colour wash going on there now. A little bit more on this side. Okay. And this will dry pretty quickly. All right. But don't forget, we're going to be adding other stuff to this now. Okay. We'll be adding other stencil details on it as well. So that's just a little bit of a colour wash there, as you can see. Okay. Pop and brush into water. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to start adding some colour to the flowers. So I've just got a couple of um, paint brushes. I never know which ones I want to use until I've uh, started getting the colour. So I'm going to start off with my, um, here we go, this one, my salmon, first of all. And this is just a light base colour. Let me just wipe that off there. There you go. Okay. Now these you can paint straight from the pot or you can water them down. I'm just going to start building the colour on these flowers. This is the bit I said I haven't, didn't pre-prep this. I wanted to show you how quick and easy you can create on the go with these paints. All right. So you may want to grab a cup of coffee at this point. Okay. So we're just going over, and I'm not I'm not being particularly careful. I'm going for the sort of a a uh, what we call watercolour look. Is it? You know the sort of I'm not after precise edges or anything like that. So this is really, really quick. I really want to do this real time to show you how quick and easy. Because sometimes people say, well, you got most stage, all the you know, stages are prepped. We, you know, still don't know really know how long it takes you to to do that effect. So this is why I'm doing this now so that you can see how quick and easy it is with the painting part from the beginning, okay? So these are now, there we go. It's very relaxing, isn't it, painting? She says, lost her brush then. Very, very relaxing. So I'm hoping you can start seeing we're building the background of our flowers here, okay? There we go, just make that a bit more flowy, okay? So again, onto the second one, I'm just adding colour, tiny bit of water in it, so because I say it's only a background colour, it's going to dry fairly quickly. But I have a heat tool as well to help us, so there we go. So it's just around here, okay. And these have got, like I said before, the real crushed gilding flake in them, and that's what gives this beautiful shine to our projects, okay. 
what we're doing. So we're just coming around here. Okay, my paintbrush keeps loop, keeps hiding away from me like a snail. <laughs> okay, so coming around to this side, I'll bring that there for you, hoping you can see. Now we will get the light sorted one day. I'm from halfway there. <laughs> I said it I only just come out of the box as I was setting up because I just haven't had the chance since I came back from the ODS shows. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed the shows if you watched them. We had lovely, some gorgeous inspiration from the from the um, design team. Some really lovely pieces of work using all these um, stencils. And the gorgeous rice papers we had on there as well. I was really loving that black floral one if anyone had that. I think it's gorgeous. Right then. So there we are. First layer of the paint. Okay. She keeps losing. I don't have another paintbrush this side. And I keep, look, keeps going inside like a snail. Okay. I might have to change to a square one here because that one keeps hiding on me okay so just a really really quick coloring so we started off with our flowers now I'm going to come in with a little bit of my topaz okay and I'm just going to start I'm not really following the flower detail now I'm just going to put a little bit of dark in there that's all so we're starting to do some shading from the center Okay, really, really quickly. You can see I don't spend long doing it. Okay, and then if you take your other brush then you can start blending it out. So if you just want to get a little bit of shading, so you can start blending it out into the other colour. Can you see how it's starting to blend that out? All right, so a little bit more. I'll take the other brush though. A little bit more. <clears throat> can you hear my throat going? <laughs> Voice is going. There we go. I haven't got too much. I'm off on holiday this week. <laughs> oh dear. I'm off to my friend's apartment in Benidorm. There we go. For a long weekend. Okay. There we go. And I think then I'd like a little bit of the Zinnaber gold. Because I'm going to blend it all in. It all just blends in beautifully on here. Just, oops, she says, touches. Just touches of it. And then blend it in. So it's very relaxing, isn't it? But then I take some of my um, passion flower again, and this is where you start. You can start really seeing the colour building because I'm going back, but I'm coming into the edges of the paint I've now applied, and that will just layer on top and blend through. Okay. So where I put a little bit of the Zinnaba gold, coming up here. I'll get a little bit darker so you can see it, okay. And then I'm going to take the passion flower, clean off my brush, come lighter, clean off the brush, and then I'll take a little bit and I'll come down to start blending that colour in, okay. That's what's beauty about these paints. Whilst they're wet, you can blend them beautifully, okay. There we go. Just come in and water that down. There we go. Okay. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. So you can see how we're building these colours now. I want a really sort of a wishy-washy um, watercolour effect because we're going to add some black into this as well around the detail. Okay. There we go. So it's a little bit different this project tonight in that the way we're painting it. Okay, there we go. Because we've got the beads on it as well. There we go, paint that out. Can you see? I can see. Can you see how it's starting to build the shading on there as well? So I'm just going to speed through these two for you now. Okay, I might change it up a little bit on this side. Maybe go more of my Zinnaba gold at the centre. You see, because I'm going out, so whilst this colour is still wet, I'm then going to take a little bit of my Zinnaba, of my topaz, a little bit of water, and I'm going to mix that through. 
you know, a little bit of water, mix that through. Because a flower is never one colour, it's a series of colours, isn't it? There you go. And then I'm going to take from the passion flower, yep, and bring that out a little bit as well. There we go. Because it does all blends the colours together. Give you that. And then I'm going to come clean my brush, take some of the passion flower, and bring it in from the top to blend those edges into it. There we go. Maybe we should have a craft along one day and we just paint all at the same time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? How am I getting on without my glasses? <laughs> Thankfully, it's a wish it's a sort of a water recovery project today. Because I don't know what I would do without my glasses. Okay, so let's just again wipe off your brush. So if you only get anything too dark whilst it's wet, just use your there we go. So can you see how we another time we built the colour, a slightly different colour. A whip round to this one. We go back to our cinnabar gold, but I need some more water. There we go. So I find this really relaxing the um, with the painting, and I like really simple projects. That's why I try to bring so I can show you all different ways of using all our um, products in different ways. Some simpler than others, but how they all work together to achieve these these looks. I would have to buy a new paintbrush, I think. <laughs> I love my paint. I love that paintbrush, my favourite. So I have to go back and get one of my graphic companion. That's where I bought it from. <laughs> so here we go. That's done with more orange. Now I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going back to my salmon. Am I going to come down this time? There we are, we're nearly finished. Okay, so there we go, we're coming down. These, these stencils are so versatile to use with these paints. There's so many different looks you can get. That's why, that's why I hope you did see the show because we had so many different looks from the DT. They were wonderful. Thank you everyone from DT. But they were great. They have some fantastic ideas, they really do. So, let's go down here. So, we've done our flowers. Oh, she said that brush. Really, really quick. I just put a little bit more of a colour on there. I'm not happy with the blend over there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we've got all these beautiful colours going on with beautiful shimmer to them as well. Okay. So that's the start of our, our background. We'll be finishing them off as we go along now. So next what I want to do, I'm going to give that a quick dry while I was talking about it. I'm going to get the um, stencil back now. I think we'll do our wording first. So I'm going to add some mid layers now. Okay, whoops. Got a blob of paint there. I didn't want that blob of paint there, but it is there now. Okay. There we go. I hope you can see that. There we go. Okay. I'm such a messy crafter, stay in my hands. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you can't. I'm no tidy crafters, are there? Well, I don't know. I'm a fetch. I think I know a few. <laughs> Here we go. So, let's add some mid layers now. All right. So, I want to take the tone, different tone now. So, I think I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of black just to, because um, I have got black on my images, on the butterflies I'm using. I'll put the key on them as well. They have got black on them. So let's bring some black into the background and that will balance it out for us. So if I can get a dryish brush, she says. I washed, took all my brushes down with me and I washed them all and didn't think of having it dry for tonight. <laughs> I've been cleaning them all day. So I'll just give that a quick wipe. So I've got my stencil brush. Okay. And I'm using the Starlight Wax. I've got no tissue to put on, so it's gone on my desk. <laughs> but I want to soften it right down. I don't want to have it uh, a full strength, do you think? All right. So in these empty areas now, I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of text here and there. Okay. She says just to 
add some little bits of detail. There we go. Might add the whole thing that one. I love that. I think that's a really nice thing. Tiny bit up on here, just a little bit of text. Maybe I'll do it from this side. There we go. Just a little bit. I don't want it going all the way across there. Okay, so you can see now how you're building up those mid layers. Okay, I do love that stencil. I'm going, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> I shouldn't have a favourite, but you know, I love. I just love ones that got lots going on with them. You know. So now I've got. Um, where have I got? I have. I have. She says. I quite like the black on there. I might go black around the outside as well. So now I've got. Also got. I'm going to put this back to front for me because then it's the right way around for you. <laughs> I say so we've got the fly imagine and dream there okay so I think no I think I'll go with that I think we'll still go with what do you think with the black I think yeah okay so nice soft on my brush she says I hope that's the right one I picked up I picked up the wrong brush bear with me not a problem because I can wipe it straight off because it's the wax, which is really good. Let's dry that brush a bit more. See, whilst it's dry, whilst it's wet, I can wipe things off. So again, it hasn't ruined my canvas, hasn't even marked my canvas, okay? So let's do that again. It's gotta be right, hasn't it? It's gotta be right. Okay, let's try again. It's my brush, it might be too wet to pick up the wax. But we're going with it. We'll go with that. That's good. So we've got our imagine, and I think we'll have dream down here. Because if you imagine, you dream, don't you? So we'll have that. There we go. Let's press a very light covering. Okay, so I've got nothing harsh or heavy. Beautiful. So, ooh, she says. <laughs> oh, look, I've got gold and all sorts on that. Must be on my hands. Let's just get that off. Let's just get that. Let's try that bit. There you go. See, we all make mistakes. <laughs> 